Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be giving you some tips on how you can share your games on battle.net. Uh, but first, let me go over this article that I have open on the screen. So let's get right into it. Now, uh, sharing games is basically giving your friend your game that you own to play a bit themselves. Now, as you can see, that is not possible on battle.net since it is a bit, well, against their terms of service. Uh, so if you want to move games to another battle.net account or share them, you cannot. Uh, so just don't think of doing that since it is against the terms of service and you can get your account banned. Uh, what you can do if you want access to accounts at once while you're playing on one account and communicate via another, you can open the battle.net app, then click the blizzard icon and select settings under general allow multiple instances of battle.net and click done. And then you can use several accounts at the same time. Now, if you really insist on sharing your games with your friends, even though it is not allowed, there are ways. Of course, the way number one is, of course, to share your account with somebody else, uh, give them your login credentials, and that is pretty much the only way to share your games. However, make sure that you aren't playing or logged in at the same time, since that can cause glitches. Now, uh, unless you don't want to uh, give your account credentials away, what you can do as well is, of course, gift your friend a game uh, by, of course, buying it a second time and giving it to them as a gift, either via a key or a official gift through battle.net. That is the only way that this is able to be done. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm sorry if I can give any better news to you guys. However, it is not allowed or possible in the battle.net app in the traditional way. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll be seeing you guys next time.